Okay, so we got some news on the upcoming Boruto arc, the Hozuki Castle, Mujina Bandits, basically Boruto and company uh, break into a prison arc, uh, and a lot more. So, um, without further ado, I guess let's jump into it. No matter how you move, get it done. No matter how you move, get it done. Now, since the end of the time travel arc, the boyhood arc of Boruto, and the last month or so of episodes haven't been for me anything that I was interested in so I haven't really been paying much attention to the Boruto anime but we have for a while now I want to say a few weeks uh have confirmation that we're going to be entering a manga adapted arc of the anime which is going to be great uh there's going to be some original stuff in there because I don't think they started off going to this prison uh, if i'm not mistaken uh this is actually the same prison that uh naruto went to in the blood prison movie so um they're going to be doing some different things with this but it's still going to be exciting and i'm really looking forward to it we got some dates we got a couple of episode summaries and all around it's going to be good to get back into the boruto anime i mean i wish this would have come pretty quickly after the boyhood arc that way it would keep people's attention i think that would have been the smarter route but uh, the Boruto anime is notorious for whenever we have a long drawn out uh, arc they usually jump into like a couple of episodic filler episodes until the next big one and uh, yeah it's not that far away let's jump into seeing what uh, these episode titles are and we'll talk some more so upcoming Boruto anime titles until early February episode 141 and again uh, these are excluding the episodes that came before because there was a few episodes um, since the boyhood arc but those were just again like one off fillers about well you know some people call them fillers or whatever uh basically about like you know some of the new gen shinobi or whatever but episode 141 the ninja prison hozuki castle and that will be january 26th so not this weekend but the following weekend we should be getting the start of the uh mujina bandits arc then uh episode 142 will be titled a test of guts and that'll be February 2nd, and then following that will be episode 143, The Criminals Who Targeted Kokuri, which that is February 9th. So we got a couple of interesting sounding episodes. I think, of course, going straight into the prison is going to be interesting to see how they handle it, how these kids are going to be able to sneak into a prison, and The Criminals Who Targeted Kokuri kind of catches my interest. A test of guts, I don't know what the heck that could be, but... Uh, I want to say we got summaries for episodes 141 and 142. The summary for 143 is not out yet. And of course, this is all courtesy of Organic Dinosaur. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into uh, what episode 141 is going to be. World to episode 141. Again, the Ninja Prison, Hozuki Castle, January 26th. And synopsis originally published by Animedia Magazine. Hozuki Castle is a penitentiary that is difficult to break out of and is currently being managed by... Kusagakure Village. It's been decided that Boruto and Mitsuki from Team 7 would be dispatched to this castle. Imprisoned there is someone from the atrocious thieving organization, the Mujina Bandits. They come into contact with a former member named Kokuri who tried to escape from and betray the Mujina Bandits. The two of them have been given a mission to start protecting him from the assassins from the Mujina. Concealing her true identity, Sarada Uchiha also joins forces with them later on. And so, the escort mission for Team 7 has begun. So it seems as though, with this episode at the very least, the mission starts off because I remember seeing uh, some imagery of Boruto and Mitsuki. And they were the ones in like the jailhouse orange jumpsuits, but there was no showing of Sarada. So whatever it is, last minute, she's like, hey, you know, I want to be a part of it too. Eventually, Sarada will be a part of it. And I think they definitely need somebody like that for a covert operation. You know, her shot and gun to be useful. And I think they need all the muscle they could get. Remember, they're breaking into a prison there's all sorts of strong shinobi i'm sure gonna be there remember naruto went through it in the blood prison and i'm interested to see just how they're gonna be able to tackle all this again it's kind of just a little bizarre to think they're going to be able to do this just because these are children but then again the prison might house younger people there who knows exactly there could be younger ones that you know they've committed atrocious crimes and again this is the shinobi world so we don't know exactly how they operate with things like that but yeah it seems as though uh, the whole crew is going to be there at least you know the new team seven uh will be a part of all this then we got episode 142 a test of guts and that'll be february 2nd Again, originally published by Animedia Magazine. In order to protect Kokuri, Boruto and his comrades are trying to figure out if they could somehow devise a means for them to try and get into the same prison cell as him. 
However, they've been unable to do so because the head guard, Penga, has been getting in their way. Feeling miffed, Boruto and the, <laughs> feeling miffed. I don't know why I find that word funny. Uh, feeling miffed, Boruto and the others try to obtain information from the headman of the prisoners group, Doragu. Yo, these names is getting harder and harder to pronounce. Dorag, Doragu, Doragu, uh, who manages and has control of over the other prisoners. Perhaps they could try and obtain some damaging information about the head guard for the sake of making it into some material to force a negotiation with him. However, Doragu expects compensation for giving them information. He makes Boruto and his comrades undergo a test of guts. Uh, that kind of sounds like some Dead Man Wonderland shit. Up until now, it seems as though none of the prisoners have been able to safely go through with this dangerous ordeal out of everyone who has dared to attempt it. And then there's some notes. Do note that the romanization of the new characters' names can vary, such as that Doragu could end up being converted into drag. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Like, that'll probably be his English converted name, drag. Also, this kanji mark mean is the meaning for feeling out someone's grit or willpower. So it's more like doing a test of courage rather than doing rather than something that exclusively or literally involves in trail guts so that Boruto and company can try and get some information about the head guard's potential weaknesses to use against him. And if I'm not mistaken from what I remember uh, from the synopsis, the whole point is that they're trying to escort somebody out of there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I, I can't remember if it was somebody that was falsely accused or what it is, uh, but either way, it seems as though it's going to be a pretty interesting arc. I mean, going from the boyhood arc, which for better or worse, it was very entertaining, had every Everybody, you know watching again and doing a, a big event like this I think they need to continue on this path I think you know reading these synopsis don't get me wrong that it's not giving us much exactly of what's gonna happen but considering the fact that it is somewhat um, tying into like a canonical piece from the manga hopefully whatever they do it goes straight into it and uh, if you guys remember um, the mangaka he had the script in his hand so it's not like they're going to make any uh, canonical errors hopefully I mean <laughs> with the boyhood arc there was a couple of things I'm like okay but um with this arc the Hozuki castle the uh, you know Mujina bandits and everything it seems as though they're making it more grand than the manga because the manga I vaguely remember that it was just like some kid got kidnapped and uh, it, it really didn't have much to do with any of this prison stuff so it seems as though they're tying in a lot of this to lead into that which is good because at the end of the day we don't have that much uh, manga content ahead from where we're at right, right now I mean don't get me wrong there's about 20 something 25 26 chapters I want to say since uh, the end of where we're at right now in, in the anime but that's still not that much considering if you want um, canonical episodes you know frequently so if they're adding in in canon filler to make this a little more exciting than again in the manga this wasn't like my favorite by far like I, I thought it was eh, there was some stuff that was interesting but the way they're setting it up with adding in this blood prison so to speak um seems as though this could be really really exciting curious what you guys think about this though uh for starters what are you excited about seeing in this arc what do you want out of this arc uh, again we only got what a couple of weeks from now less than two weeks um, until this arc premieres is there anything in particular i think it would be real cool and I, I can't remember how blood prison ended if like everybody i don't think everyone died but um it'd be interesting to have maybe some of those characters tie back in maybe some of the prisoners from the uh Shippuden movie are still there or some of the guards or something like that or just some callbacks in general maybe there could be a, again a prisoner that was there when naruto was there be like oh shit you're the son of that dude that was here all those years ago which again would kind of add um even though it, it's kind of hard because this is supposed to be canon and you know blood prison supposed you know it never happened because it was a movie but you never know how they could play around with this either way looking forward to it your overall thoughts and expectations uh for this arc i'm excited either way boruto is about to get interesting again in less than two weeks and that's something to be hype about but that's all i have for this one though thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links of course are in the description below I'm from the world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day
Peace in. Everything good always comes to an end. If you stab me in my back, we can never make amends. Trying to move to acceptance, hard to accept it. Mistakes like mirrors, gotta reflect it. I don't wanna fucking leave, but I gotta leave. Leave the maybes to the crazies. Maybe one day we, there I go and man, son, and a subtle weight. No more copies, leave without a trace. Last time, I'ma say last time. Moving on to the future, leave the memories as a pastime. Memories always feel like the worst. Deading all the past, leave it in a hearse. Sometimes I wanna lie, but I don't. Why lie when truthfully you get caught in it? Then usually it's all off and shit. Uncall for shit. Now I'm off the shit.